So as you see, I'm trying to figure out how to make a video without just holding up my camera the entire time of my phone. So this is on the fireplace mantle. So let's give this a shot. Um, today, our topic is binding for this week. And I'm your Thursday guy, Sebastian. Um, okay. So I want to talk about some important things to remember while binding, how to bind safely for your body type, fashion with binding, and things to remember overall about the whole thing for comfort and safety and, you know, just little tidbits of tips that I've learned. Okay. So I'm going to skip to how to bind safely. Um, we all have different body types and there are all different sizes of binders uh, to use and everything, but you want to make sure that you're comfortable. And for a long time, I just bound myself um, in different ways because I wanted more of the aesthetic of how it made me look versus comfort and, you know, keeping making sure I'm my body's safe and everything because they can be really dangerous effects if you do it incorrectly or, you know, damage yourself for too long in a certain way. So I highly recommend GC2B binders. I've tried Underworks binders in the long time ago, like 10 years ago, I did the whole ace bandage thing, duct tape thing, both little of weirdness, you know, going on, really tight t-shirts, you know, all these things to give myself the more male contoured body um, of what I was going for. GC2B is a website created uh, that sells binders, chest compression, shirts and tanks um, by, a, by a genderqueer person for genderqueer, gender fluid, trans people um, that want that aesthetic and comfort. So I highly recommend them. Very comfortable, very easy to take on and off after the first few times that you wear it, of course, because it's a little snug and fairly affordable. $35 for a tri-top or a tank. I mean, you can't beat that. The value of it and the quality of it is way worth that $35 if you can get that. Um, raise up that money. My cat is trying to um, get my attention, so he's knocking things over. So if I look around a few times, that's what's going on. He's to blame. Okay, so GC2B, I highly recommend them to, to start. It's a really good place. Um, also, you can ask uh, your friends if they have any. I actually have a few extra ones that I can give to some dudes if they need, um, but they're already like reserved and stuff because I talked to them about it. So, um, Okay, so that's where I want to go and how to do it. So that's what you do. Um, important things to remember, I would say only wear it for the time that you really need it to be on when you're home like right now i'm not binding um it's it's for comfort it's for safety you don't want to compress you know your chest against your your body for that long it reduces your breathing it pushes your ribs in you're kind of like stuck like this you know the whole time like, not that drastic but you know it's not very comfortable or safe and it could do some really damaging effects so please be careful um, so take it off when you don't need to have it on. So when you're at home, I take my, I go to the bathroom and I take my binder off if I'm going to be unloading a shipment of stuff at work. So like, cause that's a lot of heavy lifting and reaching and pulling and stuff like that. And it's really dangerous to have it on during that. In the past, I would have it on because just in case, you know, someone was watching me and stuff, I don't want them to see, you know, my large chest, but now I have to be really mindful of taking that off during work because it's really dangerous and probably it's going to be really embarrassing if like something happens and have to explain that it was because I was wearing that and go into that whole thing. So you don't want to do that. So there, don't wear it if you don't need to wear it. I know you might have some dysphoria. Um, do whatever can make you feel a little bit extra comfortable in that time where, you know, you're saving your body a lot of stress. Um, so yeah, don't wear it when you're sleeping. Don't wear it when you're doing ex strenuous work. Uh, don't wear it uh, longer than six to eight hours. Uh, just be really careful and safe. Um, uh, do do safety important and tips and tricks. I kind of like included those in my uh, descriptions of what I was talking about, but I would say, oh, sanitary stuff. Like 
wash your binder. Buy a few so you can change them out when the other one's washing. Um, I still have to buy an extra binder because I just like don't wear one while it's washing, obviously, because I don't have another one. But like I will wait until I don't have things to do to go out so that way I don't have to wear not a binder, you know, um, and deal with that. So I would suggest <laughs> getting a few so you have an extra one back up and maintaining a regular cycle of washing that shit. So, because it gets stinky. Um, yeah, I would say that's about it. Just be safe. Find the one that works for you. Um, oh, I was going to mention fashion. I don't want to leave this without talking about fashion. Um, okay, so uh, black works really well for like slimming effect and everything and making it meh meh meh. But if you have a larger chest, such as I, um, I've noticed that just a t-shirt, even like a tank top over the binder and then a t-shirt, even as hot as like the 90 degree weather we've been having. I don't know why. I, it's, so, it's so annoying. It's so hot. Um, I suggest... You know, if you want to do layers, that might help. Um, for me, larger chest, you know, I'm just going to... Meh. <laughs> so it's like, you can still kind of see a little bit. T-shirts, oh, I'm not binding, so that doesn't even count. But, like, it's the difference, you know what I mean? So even when I'm binding and I have just a T-shirt on, for me, with my larger chest, you can still see a little bit of something. Or maybe I'm just, like, hyper aware of it. Um, but if you don't want to worry about that, then I suggest button-ups. So do button-ups. Button-ups with patterns work really well. They kind of just like like confuse it and it just looks all because it's like following the pattern and you can't really tell. So that's helpful. Uh, hoodies. I know it's summer, so it's really hot. Um, if you want to wear a tank top that kind of matches if you have like a, a tank top type of binder. So it looks like you're just wearing a few tank tops. That might work. Um, my biggest savior has been uh, button-ups. And if I wear a tie, it's like the next level. You know what I mean? So I button it up and then it's just like kind of like really flat. And then if you wear a tie, it just kind of like brings it all together. Maybe that's just the confidence piece. Maybe it has nothing to do with look, but that's I gotta go. <laughs> what the hell?